going on everyone welcome back i hope everybody's having a great day all right guys got a cool photo for you today this find was actually found by a gentleman named laszlo zabalix and it's from msl 2924 this is from hedge hope hill his question was when he posted it on facebook was natural rocks as always you guys be the judge now let me show you where you can get it here's the pan and it was just added on october 30th 2020 now this is pretty cool. Now you can find other links here as well. It says raw images from NASA. And of course you got the Giggle Macro link, so on and so forth. So you can always click on those. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Neville Thompson for your work. This is awesome. Now I don't know how big this area really is. You can see some what looks like mountains in the back. I don't believe it's very big, but I don't know if this is zoomed in. Because you can see it's like maybe the top of a crater. Because you can see the water may have washed down here at some point. See that? Okay, so the parts we're looking at is right over here. I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen for you. Right here. I'm going to put it right in the center of the screen. Now, this is cool right off the bat. I said, listen, I don't have to do a thing to this photo. I can tell this is intelligently made. This is in the photo right here. Check this out. What does that perfectly guys look at this it's like it's like a hovercraft with windows only it's probably about the size of your hand maybe bigger i don't know again is this photo zoomed into or is it just the rover just sitting on the side of the crater and it just happens to be taking the picture and it's much further away i don't know there's no way to know this that to me is intelligently made so that seals the deal for me that's just me personally that's just my opinion but the way these things are, it almost looks like it's plastic windows. You guys seeing that too? It's like it's shining off of it. In addition to this, I found some more interesting things. Like to the left here. You got what looks like this weird shape piece here. Going up like this. Coming down. I'll set this right in the middle of the photo. Right here. But look at the other pieces here. They look almost look like the same thing. They have these weird, almost rectangular pieces. Now you may say, well, I don't see it here. Well, the thing is, the line is actually going like this. And when I go over with the burn tool, this pops right out like another one just like this. In other words, we're seeing what looks like something similar to this. What looks like spaces or windows or some kind of details that are perfectly almost spaced apart. You see that? Okay. So, we got that right there. And again, you're going to see this. This is almost as wide as this one over here in the front. Okay. Also, take note of this here. Right here. It almost looks like an art shape, like maybe quarter of a circle. And the other piece around it is actually accommodating that shape. Okay. Also, guys, this thing in the back here looks like a giant cigar. You'll see like this line here. Okay. And it's darker right in this portion. There's more lines in this thing. But what is it? We have something right below here. It looks like this round piece sticking out of this right here. And it looks like a couple little pieces sticking out over here. See this right here? I'm not sure what to make of that. Okay. I'm not sure what those are right there. All right. Let's jump into Photoshop and see if we can bring up some more details. Okay. This was the size of the photo. We blew it up a little bit. Okay. Let's sharpen this up a little bit because it appears to be a little blurry. Okay. Just a little bit. And then we're going to take the crappy color off of it. Okay. To me, this looks more natural. I'm going to back out like that there. And guys, look at it. I just have to zoom in. I haven't done anything to this photo other than taking the color off of it. Now, it is a little fuzzy because I sharpened it up a little bit. But we can see that's a little sharper right there. That's the original. Okay. All right. Now, let's keep going with this. Now, check this out. You can see the lines in here suddenly come out of this. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back to this. Now look at the lines right here. You can see this right here. I'm not going to do this very straight like I'd like to. Like this. we got something real faint right here going like this. Kind of looks like it's doing this. And you can see right here there's a very faint line. See that right there? Right here. And it's kind of faded right there. You really don't see this. But... Let's try to bring it out more. See that right there? It kind of goes down to the bottom. Now, you have that fuzzy look, again, because it's sharpened up. On this side, we have what I said was this other feature. 
All I do is went over this part here with a burn tool, and this is what popped out. Look at the shape of this thing. It has the same kind of shapes as this one on this side. You guys see that? That, to me, is interesting. And we have these weird other little features in here. I'm not sure what to make of this. This coming out of here. Again, I don't know what to make of this thing. I have no clue. See that? All right, let's bring the brightness down even more. Again, going over with the burn tool. Check this out. Just look at the details in this thing. What is this thing? This is coming out of this, what looks like a rectangular piece right here on the side of this. Not sure what to make of that. There's another faint line coming down like this. But this literally comes out like this. Like these lines, or whatever this thing is attached to, this goes inside the side of this. Clearly, this is not natural. It's as simple as that. And it has this weird shape. I'm not sure what to make of this, but going like this. I, I don't know what that is. And again, we have what looks like this quarter round circle. I'm going to go like this to it. Okay. But check out the piece above it. It's like it accommodates this shape. What do you guys suppose this thing is? Or these things are? To me, this alone, it screams intelligently made. And it's on Mars. How is this possible? This is not wind erosion. This is not water erosion. Nothing's going to do that. No natural process is going to do this and make these things almost perfectly spaced apart. What looks like glass or some kind of reflective substance on it. And what looks like a shiny surface of some sort. Guys, come on. Look at that. Again, we'll bring out the other details as well as bring the brightness down. We've got this piece down here. I'm not sure what to make of this, but right here. We can see this from the actual photo. Don't have to do anything to it. There it is. What could do that? Now, you may say, well, that may be just a piece of rock. And you know what? That's a good possibility. We can go with that, right? I know that's not a seat. It kind of looked like that the way I circled it and did that. But it appears to be some kind of piece of metal or something sticking out, right? These right here. Notice this right here. We've got these straight pieces going like this. Literally, it looks like it comes down like that. This piece goes up and goes over. We have what looks like a flat block on top of it. Like a kind of like a flat plate kind of thing. And there's one right on the side of it. Also spaced apart. There you go. What are the chances of this, guys? Here's the original. Shop it up just a hair bit. And there you go, guys. What do you guys think this stuff is? You guys, as always, let me know. Guys, every time we look at these things... There's some crazy, crazy objects in here. Now, the one that Laszlo found, again, he gets full credit. When you look at that, how does that look like a worn rock, whether it be through water or wind? There's just no way around it. Now, these parts could be maybe the size of your hand, or it's zoomed in. It could be the size of a subcompact car. Who cares? The point is, this is on Mars, and this is the photo that they're given to the public. Now, I can guarantee you a lot of this stuff has been manipulated in this photo, but this thing stands out like a sore thumb. So good catch, good eye on this one. But there's more details to it, like that other rock or whatever that thing's supposed to be on that side. Clearly, this stuff looks mechanical or some kind of intelligently made object. What these things are, I don't know. It's anyone's guess as to what this thing could be. As always, you guys, drop your comments down below and let me know. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It helps get the video out and YouTube will share it more. And guys, don't forget to like and please share this on your social sites or anywhere you can find an outlet to do so. More people need to be aware of what's going on. Some people are kind of like, eh, I've been kind of looking at these, but I really don't care much. But then all of a sudden they see that one particular thing that just grabs them. 
I've seen this time and time again where people were kind of like, uh, kind of skeptical. You know, I've seen some cool stuff on there, but I wasn't sure. But then they see that one anomaly that just goes, wow, this is what done it for me. And that's the whole idea. So there you go, right? Keep an eye out for another moon video as well as another Mars. Thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.